seventh race, the penultimate event on the card, is a 78 handicap. It's over 1,000 meters, exactly one kilometer. And eight minutes past four, they'll be sent back home. Don't blink, you'll miss it because there's quite a lot of pace here. There's some horses that go very, very fast in the early stages. And let's hope some of them hold on to win because I, one of them I, that shows all the pace in the world is number five, Kings Road, whom I quite like. But it's not as easy as that. There are a few with chances. But before we go any further, I want to get your opinion. How do you assess and, and how do you think number one Storm Chaser will run? Because when I asked that question, showed all the amount of pace last time, thrashed Chucker like a guy by nearly eight lengths. One for one on the poly. Uh, he's lightly raced. Well, the point I'm asking or the question I'm asking is, could he be flattered by that winning margin? I think he is flattered by the winning margin. We're going to see how what a rider ran third in that race runs in the opener at this race meeting. I'm surprised that he's stepping back to a thousand meters. I know he showed a lot of pace last time out, but it's one thing to show pace in a 1400 meter race in a weak field. This is a competitive sprint handicap where there are some real speed merchants in the race, as you've already alluded to. So this is a real test for number one Storm Chase. I'm happy to take him on. Uh, but we'll know more about Storm Chaser after the running of this race. He has been priced up second favourite at 7-2, to two, so healthy respect in the marketplace for Lazan Forbes' runner number one Storm Chaser. When I first looked at this race, Warren, I thought we've got Policy Target as a potential Pixix banker. Then we've got a couple of legs that are really testing. I thought number three, Valiente, shaped up as, a good, as, as good a banker as anything else when I first looked at the race. He won his penultimate start over the course and distance from the worst of the draw. This time he's drawn three. He's very quick. He can get out and go, even too quick for Storm Chase and possibly too quick for King's Road, and, and go all the way. And then the more I started looking at the race, the more I thought, well, there are dangers aplenty, including the likes of Bernie's Dream and La Vu La Vu, impartial. Michael Roberts says he's doing very well at home. Your outside fancy, number eight, Leslie Shadowliner, so far, who, albeit, has yet to win on the poly track, so I'm happy to draw line through him and take my chances on that. Hampton Court, of course, ran second to Valiente and then ran second to Zivala Winter. Now, Zivala Winter came out and ran a terrific race in the Marula Sprint at Hollywood Bet Scottsville on Sunday. So, even Hampton Court's got to have a bit of a chance. But I'm going to narrow it down to Valiente. I think he is the horse to beat. He sets a standard for me. He's not a good thing. He is the early favorite at three to one. I make him the one to beat. And sometimes you've just got to go with that first impression and not look for too many spooks. Well, I agree with you because sometimes, as you say, when you go for the first impression and the first glance, certainly it, it works out. But we've agreed most of the time for today's racing. Let's have a bit of fun and we race for a Coke. I'm in the camp of Five Kings Road, and let's hope well, one of us are right at least. I am a, uh, before I answer that, uh, or before I take up the challenge, I'm a bit concerned about what, uh, what you said earlier about the Peter Musket stable, that there may be one or two issues in the yard. Although Valiente, as recently as the 17th of January, ran a very good race uh, on the turf down the straight at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, went fourth to light that loose in what was a very competitive yes. race. So there is obviously that caution that perhaps... There is, a, there is an issue with the Peter Musket yard, but I'm going to ignore that because I don't think he'd be running him if there was a problem. So I'm going to go with number three, Valiente. I'm very happy to take on number five, Kings Road. I know that Gabriel Peterson takes four valuable kilograms off his back and that he's won uh, his only start over the course and distance. Um, his form is patchy. He doesn't always deliver. He's not that consistent. I think Hampton Court has a bright chance, impartial, Bernie's dream storm chaser. But yes... Happy to take you on, Valiente versus Kings Road. I'm quite strongly in the camp of number three, Valiente. Well, there we go. Graham for Valiente. I'm for Kings Road. We're taking each other on as a bit of fun. We're going to race for a Coke. We can't do it for a brandy and Coke, so this time it'll just be a plain Coke.